Kano. Yes. What are your thoughts for tomorrow's adventure? The beginning. <laughs> Damn. Honestly, I think the cold is what's going to get us. And uh, hopefully staying on track to make it back on time so we're, we can get back to normal shit. But it is going to be pretty difficult, I think, at some point. But I'm excited for it. Right on. <laughs> Javi. How's it going? What do you think and expect for tomorrow? I think it's going to be pretty moist. Luckily, I know how to use my hands. I think, I think we're going to be all right. And I'm <laughs> here for the stars. I was like, are you trying to get laid? <laughs> in are you trying dating to video? video? <laughs> I'm going to take this opportunity it? to uh, <laughs> say hi to my lady fans. <laughs> y'all doing this is obscure terrain out here with adventure number four hell yeah adventure four we're in the chiricahua mountains and today we're joined by javi and kano guys Hello. Javi, start us off introduce yourself how's it going my name is javi i was invited out by these two fine gentlemen i'm a first grade teacher as well as a private investigator normally what i like to do for fun is this but not on such a large scale overall i'm not as prepared as i'd like to be but i have my basic essentials now i know i need to invest in camping gear but besides th this with these two hosts i am having a wonderful time i'm learning a lot <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be moist but luckily i know what to do with my hands and then over to our left. Introduce Hello. Yourself and tell uh, I'm Kano. I work at a coffee store. I also uh, do stage work with these dudes and go out and just do random shit most of the time. Random adventures out of town and stuff like that. Um, this guy is a badass. I'm a badass. It's my first time backpacking, so I'm interested to see uh, what goes down. Yeah. How I survive it. How I make it. I'm not too sure if I'm too ready for it, but then again, you're never ready for a lot of stuff. It just kind of happens, so just see what we can get ourselves into and out of. And another hobby he forgot to mention was WWE. Oh, yeah, I love that shit. <laughs> it's pretty fun. Wesley, Wesley loves it. He aspires to be a great WWE champion. Also, talk but, about your leather work. Oh, I like to oh, make yeah. leather stuff, too. He I do leather work as well. <laughs> I like to do leather work as well. It's yeah. Oh, okay. Good, good, good. Else. Hmm. Oh, uh, one questions? thing. Where are you guys from? El Paso, Texas. El Paso, Texas, or technically Rapid City, South Dakota. You were born in Rapid City, South Dakota. That oh is. snap! Okay. Do you consider yourself Texan though? <laughs> Texas is the one and only Lone Star State. I'm expecting it to be cold tomorrow. So cold that we lose morale. But luckily, um. We're prepared for that. <laughs> so, <laughs> With moist hands. <laughs> so we're going to lose morale, but we're prepared to regain morale and make it through. I got, I got, I got another question for you guys. Uh, what made you decide to do this? I just wanted to do it for the great company and just to get outdoors. Yeah. <laughs> I like camping. I like camping. I like being outdoors. It's going to be fun. I hear about you guys' adventures a lot. I watch your videos. They're fun. They look fun. And it's interesting just to test yourself, man, to see, like, what you can get in and out of and under extreme climates and, like, cold temperature and just random situations, see if you can get yourself out of it. It's going to be fun. Yeah. <laughs> it's, like, it's like David Goggins says, that weather is the first thing to break a man. But it's exciting to just go into some harsh terrain and, like, build those mental calluses. That yeah. way you can take it back to your normal everyday life and, like, you have, like, that discipline and that capacity to just push through right because nothing here nothing in the real world is as hard as out here nah to, i find this the hardest thing yeah really mentally challenging physically challenging mentally and physically so you yeah, get back sure. you get back to the real civilization <laughs> the real world this is the real world <laughs> civilization is the proxy right yeah when you get back there though you appreciate it everything feels easy 
Nothing pisses you off. My you kids are gonna love me more. You ain't gonna cut off. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you can show them all. Oh yeah. Eventually, I think it's gonna get moist. <laughs> Cause the sun's gonna melt more of the snow, and we're gonna have trouble setting our tents on dry ground because everything will be moist. Remember to use your hands. Spray your fingers. <laughs> So just to give you an overview of what we're about to do, we're in the Chiricahua Mountains. We got 9.3 miles. It's a loop trail. We're going to climb an estimated 3,353 feet. And uh, the weather is going to be between uh, low 30s and high 40s. 40s yeah. So it's going to be pretty cold at night. And luckily, if we do get cloud coverage, that'll kind of insulate us. It won't be as it cold. Rain. And that's, it's, so far it says it's not going to rain. So. There is a lot of, there is some snow. Yeah, we, snow we've heard snow. that one before, though. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm stuck, Check out man. adventure number three for that story. Three Forks. <laughs> we haven't named this one yet. We'll let you know soon. All right. Uh, I think I'm pretty much set. I'm ready to go. I'm ready. Uh, yeah. Any more ready than we are.